Let's take a look uh, now at how new technology is helping people living with disabilities or chronic illnesses improve their quality of life and have greater independence. To show us a few cutting edge examples is our tech expert, Avery Swartz. Avery, thanks for being here. You bet. Okay, let's start with um, makers making change. The lip sync device, what is this? Yeah, so I got a demo one to bring in and show you. Okay. So if you think about what are the devices most of us use most days? Touch screen devices, sure. our tablets, our smartphones. That's great, but for the close to a million people in North America that don't have use of their arms or their hands, it can really cause a giant digital divide. Sure. So this device is, uh, it's kind of like a suck and blow device. So someone that couldn't use their hands uh -huh. can attach this to, um, to their, their chair or you know, whatever they're doing, and then they can use their mouth okay. to move this around. They can then um, kind of blow with their mouth to enter on, on the screen. As if they're and pressing? Over. Exactly. Now the coolest thing about this is that this is from Makers Making Change, which is a program from the national not-for-profit Neil Squire Society. Makers Making Change connects makers mm -hmm. who want to make something like this themselves with the people that need them. So what's the best about this is if you have a 3D printer, um, some maker tools, you know, for someone that is a maker, you can make this in a weekend. Wow. You can download, uh, oh, download the plan on their website, it makes it very affordable. Uh, corporate groups are getting together and doing build-a-thons to make these for people. So what, what I really love about this is how it connects makers with people that need the technology. And you know what I, I love about what you said off the top is, is, is sort, of, sort of bridging this, this increasing digital divide because we, we take for granted how easy it is to use these uh, devices to help us in our everyday life mm -hmm. and other people are simply prevented from accessing this, th these machines and the world that they open up. Absolutely, absolutely. Right, let's move on to, speaking of the world that it opens yeah. up, you know, a lot of people, there are 250 million people around the world who have issues with their sight. Yes. This is a company that's, that's helping um, yeah. uh, bridge that divide. Yeah, so this is, um, we're calling these digital eyeglasses or a visor, a headset. This is from a Canadian company called eSight. And so what this does is someone that is legally blind, uh, you know, partially blind, this, this cannot help the people that are totally blind sure. in the world. But there are a lot of people that are partially mm -hmm. blind, uh, low vision blindness. So they can put on this visor, as you can kind of see here in this, this clip. This is a clip of a woman wearing the visor and seeing members of her family for the first time. Oh, wow. So you can see there in, in, the, uh, in the, the TV screen, you can see what she sees. Sure. The visor has a camera in the front that has up to 24 times zoom. It is uh, licensed by Health Canada. It is fully endorsed. And so uh, the person that is partially, uh, partially blind can then see what's going on around them. Wow, it's fan I, and I've heard testimonials about people who've used this technology and it's, it's, it's amazing. It, it's just like, you know, I, I've seen some of the videos that are available on this company's website and it's like, just get out the tissues. Like they just yeah. make me cry. <laughs> it's so yeah. life changing and, and it's, I really, you know, I love tech yes. and I know you love tech yes, too. I do. But when I see tech that actually really makes a change in people's lives, it just, oh, it's the best feeling. Right, well, we're yeah. going to move on to, to the last one. Blood glucose levels. There's a lot of people out there that have to check the, their levels on a regular basis for a lot of reasons. Absolutely. So mostly diabetics. Yeah. And, you know, there are 11 million people in Canada who are affected by diabetes. So uh, for anyone that's had any experience with diabetes, they're used to always pricking their finger. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when I was pregnant, I had uh, gestational diabetes. I had to do it. My father is a type 1 diabetic. Yeah. I have some friends that are diabetic. Always pricking your finger is the worst. Yeah. Uh, not only is it painful and kind of annoying, but it also doesn't give you a lot of information about what's going on with your blood glucose levels. So this is a, a little transmitter. There's a tiny, you, can't, you probably can't even see it there on the camera. There's a tiny little wire, uh, the little sensor. That sure. gets inserted under the skin. And then this transmitter transmits continuous blood glucose information to an app. The okay. coolest thing about the app is that it's monitoring your blood glucose levels over a period of time. Mm. So every five minutes, yeah. it's getting a bit of information. So it will alert you if you're going too high or too low, which can be fatal for mm -hmm. people with diabetes. Um, so it doesn't just tell you what your number is at any given moment. Yeah. It shows the trend it's, of the number. It's not just a picture, a snapshot, whenever you take decide that you have the time to, 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 to take exactly. that measurement. Exactly. But it actually shows you on a, on a permanent and, and uh, 
in, in real time yeah. how, when, how, how you're doing. And what I love most about the apps that come with this Dexcom system are not only does it have an app for the person who is wearing the device that also goes with, syncs with their Android phone, their iOS, even their Apple Watch, their Samsung Watch, oh, wow. so they can just glance at their wrist, <laughs> see their number. It also has a device for friends and family. So if you are a parent of a child with type 1 diabetes, your kid can be at school, they can be yeah. at a sleepover, and you can check on them and see what their number is without uh, you know, having that constant worry for parents. Avery Swartz, that's great news for families on Family Day. Thank you so much. Love it.